let's look at the pillars of integrity pillars uh, it's like the holder what, what are the holders of integrity yeah like empaji in uganda so we are going to look at the empaji of integrity and the first pillar of integrity is ethical principles and values yeah ethical principles and values are a basic guideline which underpin everything organizations do the principles are like the standards or the policies the policies of the organization and the values that you have they guide everything that is done in the organization so if the values are are right the higher chances that you'll have integrity in your organization or you have honesty in your organization another pillar of integrity we have clear laws rules and standards that are openly communicated and then they are followed if you have laws and then rules in your organizations plus standards and then they are followed the higher chances that you'll have integrity in your organization compared to where there are no laws whereby everyone does what they want another pillar is advise mechanisms on ethical issues as a proactive measure like you come up with ways or solutions to the ethical issues in the organization the problems that pe people are facing in the organization when it comes to ethics another pillar of integrity is protection of whistleblowers to ensure that problems are identified whistleblowers are those are those individuals that report corruption or anything that goes wrong in the organization people who open up they do not just keep quiet when they see something wrong so if you if you protect the whistleblowers it will it will encourage people to always tell the truth yeah so it will promote integrity another pillar of integrity is transparency of interests whereby the employees know the interests of the organization and you also know the interests of the employees so if that is known then you will have honesty in the organization so you must have transparency for interest then the decisions and then the processes another pillar is enforcement of laws with adequate powers and penalties you make sure that the laws that you put in place are followed and anyone who goes against it is given a penalty and the last pillar is leadership yeah you must provide good leadership you you must promote integrity you as a leader yeah, so it it would drive development and integration of values it all starts from above yeah, so those are some of the pillars of integrity